Each social innovator or each nonprofit, it comes from a different place and no two stories are the same. But hopefully, in telling you my story and telling the story of the Marshall Project, there are some larger themes that we can learn and draw on. While I wanted to engage in the world, I didn't choose a, a path of nonprofit, philanthropy. I became a journalist. I just decided to just re-engage with the world. Now, I don't want to exaggerate, I'd always been somewhat engaged, but I decided to just do a deep dive into things. I did sort of realize that criminal justice and what we call mass incarceration was one of those things that had kind of crept up on me, like the massacres in Serbia. From the mid-80s, I think, to 2009, our prison population had gone up eightfold. I was learning a lot about people who were falsely incarcerated. I was learning about police brutality or brutality within prisons. Obviously, the racial disparities and the racism that exists in the system, and on and on and on. I won't say I was oblivious to this, but I would actually say I was pretty close to never thinking about it. There's absolutely no sense of urgency about this issue. What we needed was to take this issue and elevate it to a matter of national urgency. I decided that if I wanted to address the mass incarceration issue, a nonprofit journalism effort would be the best. Wealthy people who, often for tax reasons, take their money, create a foundation, get a deduction, not always, and then they can give that money out and they have a, you know, it's a tax advantage way of affecting the world. And now because of the digital age, everything is distributed digitally and it's much harder to get an audience. And how do we have an impact? Well, one way is get a lot of publicity, which we did. We were able to get a good, talented staff. And then, guess what? There's so many amazing stories you could be writing about criminal justice. Great ideas are relatively easy to come up with. The hardest thing to do is execute, is to follow through. 